Okay, we're back with an incomplete review of Unit G, Part 2. Okay, let's take a look at some binary stars. This is a binary star system. They have the same mass. Uh, because they have the same mass, the center of mass is right at the center, um, a distance r away and an, a distance r away. So these are going to rotate um, like this, around, like that. And um, I'd like you to see if you can figure out the period of this system. How long will it take this to go around one time around like that? Okay, um, go ahead and pause and see if you can figure that out. Okay, now what's happening there then is it's going to go around a circle like this. And if we apply Newton's second law, A equals F net over M. And so um, V squared over R. Now the R is of the circle, so the circle has a radius R. Uh, that's equal to the net force on this guy. So the net force on this guy is um, G, the mass of the one times the mass of the other, all over the distance between them squared. So that's 2R squared. And then we're going to divide that by the uh, mass of, of this guy again. So we can get rid of an M. Uh, we got to be careful here. Let's, let's square this. This is going to give us 4R squared. So let's write this down here so we don't get this wrong. Okay, and now we want the period, so I'm going to um, solve this for the period. Let's get rid of one of these R's. And now the period, let's come on over here with this. The period the, is going to be related by this formula. Uh, 2 pi R over the period squared, that's V. That's equal to G times M over 4R. Okay, so all I now need to do is get the period all alone. So let's see, I'll bring, um, I'll square all this and bring it over here. So that's going to be um, T squared. That's equal to, now that's going to be 4 pi squared R squared. And when I bring this up here, that's going to be um, another um, R, so it'd be R cubed. And then I also got an, a 4 coming up here, so that's going to be um, 8, uh, that's 4, 16. So it's going to be 16 pi squared R cubed all over G times M. And that's square, let's square root that and get rid of this square. Okay, that's a lot of steps in one, but that's the period of a binary star. Now, don't memorize this equation because it's going to change. What won't change is that you use A equals F net over M for this. Be careful then. See how the distance between them is 2R? That's the force is, is governed by 2R of distance. But the circle it's going in is just R. So that's the, that's the change there. Okay. What about um, planet Mongo? Planet Mongo he has a mass um, that's 8 times the mass of the Earth. And it's got a radius that's twice the radius of the Earth. So what would be G on planet Mongo? If its, if its mass is 8 times the mass of the Earth and its, and its radius is twice the radius of Earth. Okay, go ahead and pause. Okay, so G is uh, given by this equation. And so um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in the G for this planet is going to be equal to 8ME divided by um, 2RE squared. So um, if you square this, it's going to be G is equal to 8G over ME divided by 4 R E squared. So we can cancel out the 4 and a 2 here. 
And you see how that's twice g? Because g for earth is g mass of the earth over re of the earth squared. This right here is 9.8 meters per second squared, or 10. Let's go with 10 for this. So that this is 2 times 10. So this g is 20, is 20 meters per second squared. About. It's really 19.6 meters per second squared. Okay, let's try that again. Now we have planet Zeno. It's only got a quarter of the mass of the Earth, and it's got half of the radius of the Earth. So um, what will be... It's got a different density than the Earth has. And so uh, what will be the G for Zeno? Okay, go ahead and pause and try and get this. Okay, the G for Zeno is going to be... I'm just going to use this equation again. Okay, now let's fill in the numbers. The G for Zeno is going to be capital G. It's going to have one-fourth the mass of the Earth. And it's going to have um, one-half the radius of the Earth, but that gets squared. So that is um, G is equal to, I'll bring that one-fourth out in front. And when you square that, you get one-fourth re squared well do you see how this is the radius of the earth or excuse me this is the g for the earth right there g mass of the earth over re squared and these cancel out so g for zeno is 10 meters per second squared or really 9.8 meters per second squared okay finally last question for this review short review for this unit. Um, okay, which of these graphs correctly gives you the potential energy, how it, how it is related to the distance that you are from the center of, the, of a planet? Okay, so which of these? Um, this one, this one, this one, or this one? Remember, these are all R's. See how those are R's? Okay, go ahead and see if you can guess that. Okay, we're back. Um, so um, the U is equal to negative G, mass of the planet, um, times the mass of the object that, that has the potential energy or that's in the gravitational field, all over R, but not squared. It's not squared. Okay, so um, it turns out that this is negative. The gravitational potential energy is only negative. So let's get rid of all the ones that are positive. All right, that's good. Now look, as, um, as R gets l greater and greater, do you see how the potential energy gets less and less? So if I make that bigger and bigger, this is getting less and less. So look, as R gets bigger, this one's getting more and more negative. This is suggesting that at infinity, your potential energy is infinity. Okay, so in any case, as, as R goes out then, the potential energy is going to zero. So this is the correct answer. That is the correct answer. Okay, and finally, I want to ask you a question. Actually, we are going to go to a third video. We will go to a third review video. See you there.